Okay, welcome to Year 8 Science Online with Henny van Vieren. Good morning guys, I hope you are all well. Um, and hopefully we are actually back at school today, but and hopefully this lesson is not necessary to be recorded, but you never know. Anyways, so here we go. Just um, a recap on uh, what we did last time during the meeting. So let me just take that picture off and now... Uh, I want to move this one across there, and now I will see what I'm recording on my other screen. Anyway, so we then looked at this video again, and we wrote our little safety test, and everybody did really, really well. Yeah, so I just want to say thank you to everybody who did their homework, um, and look at this, Alex Bishop, woohoo, you got 32 out of 32. Blake Holmes, look at that, 32 out of 32, that is incredible, and... UG, look at that, 32 about 32, Bren, um, Bren, you just looked at it, you need to fill it in dude, Angus, Angus, Angus where are you, Benjamin and Nolan, guys you need to complete your homework for me please, okay, alrighty, now let's have a quick recap, as you can see here, we looked at some lab equipment, um, we talked about beakers, remember beakers are not for measuring, they are simply for holding large volumes of fluid. A measuring cylinder is for measuring. The conical flask again, it's for holding volumes of liquid and also for doing experiments in. Um, a round bottom flask and a flat bottom flask, and then a volumetric flask, you can use these to measure with. And then reagent bottle, rubber stoppers, test tube bracks and test tubes, um, the retort stand, test tube brushes, test tube holder, a thermometer, the Bunsen burner, rubber tubing, the wire mesh, and here's a new one, the tripod. Um, just wanted to make sure that it is in there. Then the clay triangle, the crucible and cover, crucible tongs. Mortal and pestle, stirring rods, spotting plates, evaporating dish, meter ruler, funnel, droppers, goggles and ap apron, digital balance, triple beam balance, pipette pump and bulb, posterior pipette dropper, and then I asked you to play a Kahoot. So let's see how the Kahoot went. I wonder who will be the winner. Okay, so our two games are finished. We had 25 and 22 players. So, and if we look at the lab safety quest, a quiz, let's view the podium. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Bren! Good job! Simon! Dumbachers! Yay! Good job, guys. And the runners up were Keanu and Ian E. So, well done, gentlemen. Whee! That was for that one. Let's see how the other one went. Um, open that. And you guys got 74% average and the podium is number three was Sam L well done Sam second place Benjamin Lynn and in first place Daniel Mr. Ten well done good job guys and then we had Cooper and Tim in number five well done gentlemen thank you very much for doing your work and hopefully you actually learned something so back to our lesson. Rules of scientific diagrams. Okay, so when we're drawing scientific diagrams, okay, at the end of this you should be able to draw assembled equipment. For instance, the equipment needed to boil water, and that's going to be your homework. So scientific diagrams used in reports, they have to be clear, easy to understand and conform to the rules. The reason why we have these rules is because not all of us are really very artistic. 
I cannot draw to save my life, but scientific diagrams makes it possible for everybody to be able to draw. Now, rule number one, you always use a sharp pencil, okay? We're not going to use a builder's pencil or a pen or even colouring pencils. In scientific diagrams, you just use a sharp pencil or a mechanical sharp pencil, okay? When you draw straight lines, you use a ruler. And also, remember, it's not sketching. Sketching is where you make like little... Um, when you're drawing, let me show you. So sketching is when you go... Okay, so you know when you do that, you can actually make a really nice picture by sketching. No, 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 no. Okay, that is not what we do. You simply put it down and you draw. Okay, and so no jagged or sketching lines. Again, when you're drawing, you draw it in a two-dimensional shape. You, even though 3D looks really awesome, as you can see on this side, 3D looks amazing, but I want you, you have to draw in two dimensions. Now, when something is open at the top, don't close them by putting a line up there. You leave it open. Look at the previous one. It's open to the top. We're not using any shading to make it look nice. Okay, this is a scientific drawing. It is not art. So we just draw it, and there you go. And all equipment should be labeled with straight lines. So you take your ruler, it has to touch the thing that you're referring to, and then back, and then you write enter in this case. And look, they all, all the lines finish at the same place. None of the lines are crossing each other. You see that? And all of them are under exactly. So if you can't, if you have to draw something and you can't get to it, you can use the other side, or you can sometimes go up first and then to the side, okay? Um, but you lines are not supposed to cross. They should always have a type title. The label line should never cross. The label line should touch the item being labeled. So this is how we draw a test tube, okay? This is how we draw a beaker. A conical flask, a tripod and gauze. How many legs does a tripod have? Tri means three. So why don't we draw a third leg? You don't. Okay, a tripod. When you're drawing it, you only draw two. Some people want to draw a third leg in here, but that is actually wrong. Okay, so we only draw two legs of a tripod. I know it's confusing, but that's just how it is. Okay, so when you're drawing a tripod, only draw two legs. This is a retort stand, and then you have your clamp at the top there. So, your homework is to draw this picture, and I will take this pic picture and I'll put it on the OLE also. I want you to draw that as a scientific drawing, and you're going to upload it, so I'll put the work in do work for you, and then you'll upload it to the system for us. I'm also going to um, give you a little bit of Education Perfect work. So for that, you just need to click on Education Perfect um, on the link that they're going to email you, and we'll take it from there. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, let's hope that everything goes well, and we'll chat again very soon. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.